Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tier 3 premiums. Basically, just discuss whether or not they're worth picking up if you want to grow, grind the lower tiers for more silver and also XP. So I've gone ahead and unlocked the Ghosts of Cane, which are the tier 3 premium for Rome. You can see them right here. I believe they cost 950 gold, which is about £4, I believe, um, when you go into the Wargaming site and then I also went ahead and unlocked the Carthaginian variant which are the uh, Carthage Marines and I love the design of the Carthage Marines these guys look sick um, definitely a fan of their artwork so I unlocked both of them and we're just going to decide who like if they're good if they're worth it is it better just to save up and buy a higher tier premium unit so let's just jump in but we'll play as Rome first and make sure we're playing against players as well yep play against humans that's what exactly what we want we've got our sword our weaponsmith Yep, uh, cool, let's go ahead and jump in then. So we're going to be playing as Germanicus, just because Germanicus has that heavy infantry charge, which is really nice at lower tiers to catch missiles, and he also does get his Testudo, which you know is great against blocking missile fire. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get some good stuff um, and some good damage in. So the tier 3s get their spe a special strike ability, which none of the other units get. I don't know what each of them are called, we'll obviously find out when we dive into battle. So basically these are like special abilities tier, to the tier 3s which kind of give them a nice little boost and allow you to do some pretty gnarly stuff with them. Um, I haven't actually personally played with them so I have no idea. This is kind of like a learning uh, video for me as well as it is for you guys. So hopefully we'll determine whether or not they will be worth it. Teutoburg Forest is going to be an interesting map as well. Also if I sound a bit off today it's because it is absolutely scorching in the UK at the moment. It's like the hottest it's been in years. It's absolutely crazy and it's constant as well and I don't want to hear anyone down there in the comments saying well Jackie I live in Florida and it's always that hot yeah you may you might live in the, the pits of hell itself constantly but us in the UK we're used to rain 364 days a year and one day of sun so it's very very different when you're used to such cold weather to immediately go to the the, the crazy heats of what we're getting you know if you live in that if you live in the, the pits of hell all year round and it just gets even a little bit hotter you know you're kind of used to that so i don't want to hear any of that i know i'm gonna at least get comments and i'm sure now I've, I've brought it up i'm gonna get even more comments of people saying it now but oh well i'm sure i'm gonna get more well, jackie i live in india so it's always hot yeah pro i don't i don't disagree with you right there it probably is ridiculously hot Let's go ahead and go on this right flank. I always like to push over on this right hand flank. Uh, it doesn't look like we're getting much support though, which is a little bit upsetting. We also have a ton of archers. Maybe we'll just go center. Hmm. Maybe we'll just go center. I'm kind of a little bit worried. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. We want to protect these archers as much as we can. Even though we are playing low tiers, it doesn't mean that we don't want to go ahead and, and play like our proper team game. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what these guys look like. I mean, they look pretty goddamn cool there. Yeah, they look really cool there. I dig that a lot. That's that's a nice little look. And obviously, these are the ghosts of Cane. So these are the soldiers who lost their life against Hannibal, which was kind of a cool, nice little design. I like what they do with them, um, with that kind of like feeling. So as you can see, we do have a special strike, Vengeance Strike, which gives us more morale, makes us a lot slower, and obviously does damage. So it doesn't give us any extra damage from the strike. However, it does give us some more morale, which is kind of nice. We also get Peeler Throw, uh, which is good. Heavy Peeler as well. I don't think we get that for a, for a while, and obviously access to our other abilities. So let's send our general unit right here. I want to make sure I try and protect this, uh, as we have a lot of archers set up here. And realistically, we want to just push them forward if we can, because we've got so many archers here. Uh, so many archers here. Wow. That's pretty crazy. And we have, what, some tier 4s down here. How do we match up against the tier 4s? Yeah, obviously they're stronger, but we're faster. Okay, good to know, good to know. I guess I'm going to hold this flag point for now. And yes, yeah, I said, we really want to just try and encourage them to come across because these archer volleys will just be devastating. I'm going to go more center again. Uh, this guy needs to form his testudo if he can. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to try and encourage them forward because if they get into his arc of fire, all the archers should be shooting now. Unleash hell, archers. Unleash hell. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Archers, there we go. Like every archer should just unload on these guys now. Here we go. Yeah, they're going to, they've come to the wrong neighborhood. We've got about six units of archers all coming down now. And they're fleeing, getting the hell out of there. They're pushing heavily there, though. So we need to try and make some stuff happen, I think. We obviously need to try and encourage them to come into our archer. I'm going to push up myself to try and encourage that. Just 
Just try and get him across. We're going to have to fall back soon and deal with this. There's a lot of infantry coming. They're going to want to try and push us. God, this is such like a strategic battle for like a tier 3 game. You don't really get to see this uh, type of gameplay too much. I mean, if anything, these archers, all they need to do is come around here and we'll be fine. Like, we can easily outrange them. There's no point in them doing that. Like, they're going to shoot me. That's fine if they do want to. I can just form test pseudo. Yeah, like, they're not going to come. So we're just going to have to push back and, I guess, wait for this to deal with this. Uh, let's just give up the center. We have the vision, whatever. God, I can't believe how strategic this tier 3 game is. I was expecting just a pure on rush into one another, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So let's move up our infantry over here. Again, we can see Germanicus and his boys. Oh, looking pretty badass right there. That does actually look really, really cool. I, I, I love the, the design of their shields. Not as cool as the Carthaginian Marines, but I'll take it. So let's push up here. Our archers are doing some good damage off from the infantry fights. And they're holding them off. I mean, honestly, the amount of enemy forces that are here. They should really just surround these guys and rout them immediately. They would have been able to push on from this, not receive any missile fire. And we are slowly starting to encourage them to come forward. You know, that's, I guess that's one of the nice things about the lower tier games. Is that the units are a lot, or people are a lot less patient. So they will just commit to the fights very early on when they don't really need to. Oh, nice. Our cavalry's doing a great job there as well. Oh, no, they missed the charge. No. Oh, there we go. He managed to get his follow-up charge. But, oh, my God. He almost just missed off the perfect opportunity there. Yeah, like as I said, all these archers need to do is come center. There's no point being here. These archers, there's a lot of them. They can just simply push. But it's a little bit late now. Oh, my God. These archers got caught. That's not good. I'm coming, though. Here we're coming up against another Germanicus. That's fine. The annoying thing is, though, he's running this way, so I can't charge because I don't want to charge for his unit, but I can charge now. Good. That's going to be a good charge off on him. We are the lower tier, obviously, but you know, we are do outnumber him. So let's go ahead and pop our strike ability. A little cool animation right there. Let's just try and get through the back of him. Obviously, we do so much more damage in the rear, so if we can just run our unit through and then charge in, something like that will form up. And then we'll just charge in into his back. And that should be enough to finish him off. Now, obviously, having the, having the extra morale is actually super nice. Can we get this for like 10 seconds? Which, as you can see, gives us melee defense, melee attack. There's actually a really nice buff there on the infantry strike. Now we've got archers pushing back there. They're finally pushing up in the center. What happened here? This was like the perfect opportunity. And now it's just a pure on cavalry engagement. What happened to our archers? Wow, that is not good. That is not good at all. Um, I don't really want to be over here. Actually, maybe I do. The extra men over here would actually be really nice. Yeah, let's come. We also have our peeler throw as well. I don't know what happened to our center though. If they just kept the position, it would have looked so good. But now all our archers are going to die. Yeah, that's really, really bad for us. I don't really know what they're up to. Oh, well, we will push back to the center. Oh, push to his left-hand side. Try and get some stuff. Also, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this CPU lag. I know, like, people have been complaining about it, but I've got a fucking 1070 Ti, an i7-8700 series. I don't really know why we're lagging. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. So it's going to be a good rear charge off on them. We'll push around the flanks as well, obviously. Um, try and buff up some of our soldiers. I guess charge in here. I don't really want to be fighting these higher tiers because they're so much better than me. But I guess we are just holding off trying to hope that our archers... Because we do have archers behind them as well. So if the archers behind them can get some damage in, that would be pretty nice. Because we have like no goddamn aggression whatsoever. Oh, we're getting shot here as well. Let's peel a throw these guys. Okay, you guys can come out now and move around. Actually, two stay in. Freevo can come round. Do they just run back? Oh, come on. This CPU lag is annoying me, though. I don't really know what the issue is, like what the deal is. Uh, we have to go center, though, now. Because yeah, we're going to be in a, a tricky situation. No we need to clear this up ASAP. And then, um, yeah, go back to our base. Which is really what this unit needs to do now. No, he's not going to catch him. Let's just go back to our base. Because our base is going to be captured so quickly. Oh, god damn it. Well, we've got all of these guys out. And we're not going to get to the base. We do actually have a player back here. Oh, he's AFK. Good. That's actually really good. So I can control him and send him back to the base. 
Oh no, you guys need to run. Good thing he's phalanxes. Infantry cow trops? Oh, that's gross. It's tier 3. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and pop our, our strike ability. Oh god, yeah, we need to make sure we do this. Come on, charge in, charge in. Oh my god, what is this CPU lag, man? It's so annoying, like, come on. So we're going to be able to decap, which is good. You guys are still running away, again, which is fine. He actually outstroked me there, unfortunately. That's fine. We should at least hold these guys up. Let's get this unit out of there. We're actually gonna, we're not going to wrap, but we're taking a lot of damage here. We just need to get back to the base, and then we should be okay. Okay, that unit routed. It's really unfortunate. Try and get out of their cavalry. We still have this unit. We're just going to get back to base. I don't know why these archers aren't going back to base. Maybe we should. I don't know if it's worth it um, to actually like send this unit to just back straight back to base or to kill this so we can send back all our units. I think we have to go back to base, honestly. This battle is not looking great, though. Yeah, these archers need to go back to our base. Because if they don't go back to base, we lose, unfortunately. It's annoying as well that we've been killed here. But, I mean, we were fighting by higher tier, so can't really complain there. We were just fighting tier 3s, it wouldn't be as bad. But we held our own against some of the higher tiers. Yeah, I mean, these archers... I mean, I don't know why I'm complaining. We're playing tier 3s. It's not like we're playing... You know, these, these are people who have played the game for the first time, so... I'm not really complaining. I mean, it's not like we did amazing. We got, what, the third highest aggression? Fourth, just. So it's not like we played out of our minds here to carry. And that's kind of what you have to do at these, these lower tiers, is carry. Luckily, though, he's managed to decap. So if we can get over here, I mean... Yeah, these guys... I mean, I'm just running back to base, because if we don't get back to base, we lose. But obviously, protecting these archers is quite important as well. We also have a nice peeler throw, um, which is going to be useful. But yeah, these archers are way too focused here. I think that's going to be all she wrote for this battle. Uh, but we got 2,000 points, which is quite good. So we'll compare that to like how much experience we'd get playing, say, for example, a Tier 7 game or a Tier 6 game. Because, you know, if these are, are, are cheap, you get silver as well, obviously. Yeah, we're not going to be in range, unfortunately. You obviously don't have to pay any silver replenishment either on these type of units. So um, that's obviously a good way to grind yourself some silver if you're having problems with that. Let's see how much we gain from uh, a defeat. Obviously, victories you gain a lot more, so it'll be interesting to see how much we gain. So for a defeat at Tier 3, that's a really, really good experience. 2,000 unit experience is great. Now, obviously, you now have to pay extra money to get this experience off. Um, so do keep that in mind if you're going to buy this unit. If I was, to example, wanting to get this experience off, so 2,000 XP would cost me 83 gold, uh, which isn't a lot, but it can obviously add up over time. Um, as we continue to do that, uh, just get rid of that. Um, so, yeah, that's great. they do make good experience, but bear in mind if you want to grind these guys for, for unit experience, then you're going to have to pay gold to get that. Um, so, if we take a look at Hastrubal now, I'm going to play Hastrubal, I think, as he gets some pretty good bonuses, and I think at tier 3 he's better than Hannibal. So, let's jump in on the Carthaginian Marines now, and we'll see what they're made of. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some uh, a nice little victory under the cards, because it'd be good to test how much experience the units get with uh, with. A defeat and then kind of compare that to a victory so hopefully this time we can go in as the carthaginian marines and get some damage done on the enemy okay we're in on capital Lion hill and we've got a nice little contingent of infantry cavalry and archers over on this left hand side it might leave our center a little bit open but honestly i'm not too scared about that i'm sure we'll be able to retreat back because capital Lion hill isn't exactly a huge map um and i think it's actually going to be a really interesting one for like ranked mode I think Capitoline Hill uh, would be great because it's a very concise map. It's small and, uh, you know, if you're playing a 5v5 or a 7v7, I think it offers some pretty nice uh, maneuverability. So we have Hastrubal charging up with his Carthaginian Marines, leading his soldiers forward. And the reason I think, you know, he's probably the best choice for you at this tier is because he has a charge. He has a nice little buff to himself. And, you know, obviously getting the Flaming Javelins is, is going to be great. So we need to be a little bit careful. We don't want to overextend here. Obviously, stretching out our units as well is going to be pretty important. So let's do that. We've got cavalry up here. So we need to make sure we protect our archers. So I'm going to sit like here. 
So if I get caught up with the infantry engagement, our archers can do some work. I don't want to obviously get them to get caught out from behind. So we're still not going to win this, this infantry fight. What the hell is that artillery shooting us? Oh yeah, that's really bad news uh, for us right there. Uh, these guys, you know, obviously just push up here. We, we've got that. Just shoot them. Now, we've obviously got a lot of infantry behind us we need to be careful of. Probably don't want to take this engagement if we can avoid it. Oh, yeah, we want to fall back here. We want to fall back here, like, immediately. We do not want to fight. But look how many people there are here. There's far too many for us. We just need to shoot and retreat. Uh, probably go back to the center, maybe. Should mean, though, that we have the advantage elsewhere. Like, I don't know, but they have so many men everywhere. Like, I don't know, where, where's, our, where's our team? Where are my legions? Oh, yeah, we're just going to fall back. Um, there's no need to, to retreat, you know, fully. But we honestly don't really want to be super engaged against higher tiers where there's a lot more infantry. We've got so much cavalry as well. Yeah, so we just want to keep on falling back. We can use our archers as kind of like a, a screen shield. We obviously also have three javelins as well. So it's not the worst idea. To, uh, to stick around and use our javelins. But they also have peeler. And I don't really fancy taking a peeler load to the back. Like that. We shouldn't actually do that much damage, surprisingly. Um, this cab needs to get out of my way, though. Because, yeah, we don't not want to fight this unless we have more reinforcements. Because, look, there's six units of infantry here. Six. And there's also higher tiers as well. I guess if we were to fight them, it wouldn't be a bad idea to, uh, to engage them here. Because it's much harder for them to outflank us. Our archers are going ham. That's perfect. I do want to try and get some points myself though. So let's be aggressive here. Push up. Hopefully we can encourage their infantry to just commit to us and, and, and fight I guess. Because our archers are doing some pretty nice work. If I can segregate, if I can segregate like this tier 3, that would be amazing. Don't really know what he's up to, but... Oh, it's a nice little... Let's just pull back then. He's in um, he's in heavy testudo. Oh, he's in testudo, so we don't want to obviously throw our javelins so we can avoid it. I could try and charge him and surround him. Not a worst idea, actually. He's obviously going to be Germanicus, so he's going to win this charge. So let's just come round now and see what these guys are made of. Because he shouldn't have his charge left, whereas we do have a charge left. And these archers are shooting. Probably don't need their help anymore. But now, especially now we've surrounded them, obviously we're just going to gift our, all our units. So we now have these bonuses. And we're just going to hopefully slaughter this. This is Kane right here. Yeah, we're routing them. Come on, route them fully. There we go. That's one unit routed. Perfect. That should die very, very quickly. Now we can focus on the other unit. We obviously got our strikes. Oh, this is beautiful. We are, we are, we are doing a Kane right here. Getting some pretty nice points as well. That's him routed. We can try to route the other one as well. That, that hurt. Oh, that's, that's one of the reasons you want to be scared of an Alexander. In the rear, he just does so much damage. Now, obviously, I was too zoomed in looking at that. Would have been much better if I was actually zoomed out. I could have countercharged. That could have helped me out a bit. So, their units are all being cleaned up now. It's perfect. We'll just finish up the last of these Romans and then probably go and help out over here. We also have our, our javelin throw still to shoot. Um, and obviously, keeping these archers alive is also going to be a great uh, plan of ours. So, let's just go ahead and get out of here. We'll get involved. So counter charging, you can see how little damage he did compared to how much damage he did when he charged me from the, uh, the rear. You know, Alexander just does so much. And the nice thing is about Alexander is he also... Um, so from the front, that was still deadly, but I charged late. Um, okay, 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 what do we want to do? Reform up here. Um, and obviously javelin throw. Do we not have any javelin throws left? Okay, well, we want to come around here as well, but I'm more than happy to do so. If we want to try and envelop this guy, we can route him. So obviously, let's pop off all of our gifts on everyone. Or our, our what is it, deep pockets. Yeah, let's pop that on everyone. everyone. And we're fighting a higher tier right now. But I think the way we're playing, we can probably take this on. Obviously, with the support of the archers as well. That was a good charge in. I'm not sure if we'll be able to route anyone. But we'll give it a go. Nice rear flank. Oh, yeah, we can just route these higher tiers. That's perfect. Obviously, make sure we keep on striking. He did parry, which was nice of him, but... Okay, so that's a bit scary. There's not really much we can do. He's going to come in and attack us. Is this guy routing? He is routing perfect. So as soon as he's routed, it should be good. We haven't got our deep pockets back anytime soon. So this is pushing. Kill all of this guy's units. 
And then we can just route the last unit as well. He's actually routing quite nicely for, for the other player. But I mean, we're doing so much damage right now. This should be a good uh, battle to really tell. We'll just route him quickly before we go around. Nice, routed him. So yeah, you guys can turn around now. We'll leave two to try and kind of chase him down as much as he can. Probably not going to help. Oh my god, this battle is so close and we're going to lose. No, we're going to lose the battle. What can men do against such reckless hate? That's so unfortunate. Can I get a unit out of there? Maybe try and rush it back to base. No, you're going to route even with that. Fuck, that's not good. I guess it's just try and get out of here. If we can, we can probably save the battle. <gasps> we got one unit out. Perfect. Run, run, charge, charge. Get out of there. Do not get rear flanked. No, we must be faster than them, surely. We are not faster than them. Oh, no. How are we not faster than them? We're fucking Marines. This is so bad. He's going to heavy infantry charge me. Luckily, we do have like an 18-second charge. And we're on roads as well, trying to just get back as far. If we can just get one decap, that will be huge. Oh, my God, please. No, heavy infantry charge. Don't catch me. Come on, don't. If, you, if I get rear flanked as well, it's over. If any of these units touch me, it's over. Oh, we're going to do it. No, we also have cavalry back here. Perfect. So I probably should leave, try and leave this unit away, right? I should leave these units away so they don't cap. If they want to chase me, I'd much prefer that than, for example, them going and capping. As we have cavalry back as well, we also have archers back as well. So yeah, I'm just going to try and take these units away from the battle. So they don't go to cap. Okay, they're turning around now so we can throw our javelins. Try and just be a nuisance. This is good though, because now we can go ahead and decap. God damn, this battle's going to be close. Oh, they have some archers back there. We need like one unit of cavalry to go back. He shouldn't be wasting his dudes either. But we also have archers here as well. This is going to be a close battle. But it's going to... Oh my god, look at this Arminius player as well. Almost 4k aggression. Not bad. So as usual with the videos, the second battle is normally always so much better. You brave men. We're going to wait off. Now obviously they can just decap us here. they got some infantry coming back as well. But it's looking good. Our archers should be able to kill a lot of these uh, these javelins. And then I can help decap the infantry. We did unfortunately lose our cavalry. Which was a shame. But it shouldn't be the end of the world. Now we just have to kind of I guess wait. And, and see. As we do have the advantage right now. But these archers need to split up. If they don't split up then. That would be a little bit shaky. We obviously have to stay away from these javelins as well. And just wait for them to cap up. Um, yeah, we got, unfortunately did get decapped. Somehow these archers got decapped. Don't know how. Maybe by the, the lone archers they have. Oh yeah, it's by like these dudes over here. So we're just buying our time. Making sure we're staying out of vision. Oh no, these archers. Archers split up. These archers need to split up and go like around. And like that. And like that. Oh, God, we're going to lose this battle. What a shame. That's, that's so unfortunate. Because as I said, we can come in and get one javelin throw off, probably. Lose. Yes, yeah. It's, oh, it's such a shame. If these archers, you know, split up from the beginning, um, instead of just having all your units clumped up, then, I mean, it's pretty good. he might get back, honestly. But I don't know. I don't think his arrows will find their target beforehand. But we'll see. Yeah, because, like, a lot of the arrows... Oh, he needs to shoot this pile right here. Yeah, no, unfortunate. Oh, well, you know, two defeats, but I think we'll get some good experience for this battle. Let's see, the arrows are going to fight. And Mark just... Oh, that's close, that's close. No, you need to stay in and just dodge the arrows. No, why are you coming back? What? Why is he... Why is he turning around and coming back to base? We we're about to cap. Just kill this unit and then... We won! There's no point coming back to base! Oh my god! That's crazy! We were literally like here! On the cat bar! That is some bullshit if I've ever seen it and wow. I mean, new players, I'm not getting triggered, but I am so triggered right now. 
I'm, yeah. <laughs> Again, some pretty okay experience. Realistically, we should, should have got a lot more for a win. You also get some okay silver as well, considering you don't have to replenish these units. It does definitely add up. So there we have it. They were the tier threes. Some pretty dumb games, but, you know, playing at the lower tiers is always just such a free-for-all. Uh, you can't really expect much of your team because people are just new to the game. So, but that, that was pretty pretty insane like that was insane right there but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos what do you, if you guys think of the tier threes let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys in the next one